Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pre-Kirk and Wee kirk with First Presbyterian Church, Smithfield, North Carolina, this Sunday, March 28th, 2021. It is Palm Sunday. It's Palm Sunday. This is the Sunday where when we go to church in person, we usually get big palm fronds, big leaves, big palms to wave and sing songs with as we come into the church because... This is the day where we remember the story when the last week that Jesus was alive, he went to Jerusalem. And when he went to Jerusalem, he rode on a donkey. And when he went to Jerusalem and he was riding into town on a donkey, everybody was waving palm branches and singing Hosanna and calling Jesus the king, which he was. The rest of the story after that changes a little bit in the rest of the week. Um, a lot of people who were angry at Jesus got even more angry. And this was the week that we remember the stories right before he died and when he died. Because next week is Easter Sunday. And next Sunday, we remember the story when Jesus rose again from the dead, which we're going to read next Sunday. This week, something different is going to happen every night this week because there's so many stories between what happens on Palm Sunday when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. There's so many things that happen between when we remember that story and the story of when Jesus rose again. We're going to actually have pre-Kirk and Wee Kirk every night this week at 630. It'll be about the same as normal. I'll probably sing a little bit, and then I'm going to read one of those stories. And Miss Debbie, the amazing Miss Debbie Jacobs, put in enough crafts in your packet so that there's a craft or a coloring page or something that goes with each one of those stories so that you can help remember all of the stories. And moms and dads or anybody watching, you guys can have something there to remember to talk about those stories if, if you're available. And it's going to be at 630 every night. As long as I remember to get on myself, which I will, I hope, I'm going to set reminders. So we'll have those stories at 6.30 every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, to read over those stories. I hope you can tune in, but if not, it'll be in the Facebook history on our church Facebook page, and you guys can come back to them anytime you want to. And next Sunday, Easter Sunday, we'll be back here at 10 o'clock in the morning to read that story as well. So, happy Palm Sunday. I don't have any palm fronds to wave today, which is a bummer. I even thought about going outside and finding something outside to wave, but everything's covered in pollen or is wet this morning or has uh, all, you know, flowers falling off of it. So if you have something at your house that's like a palm frond or something outside that you can wave around, a branch, leaves, flowers, then I encourage you to joyfully do so today with your family. But because it is Palm Sunday, and this is the Sunday where we, we remember everyone saying, Hosanna, I found some Hosanna songs for us to sing this morning. The first one's in the hymn book. So I'm going to take a stab at it after we sing our good morning song. We'll see how that goes. But I'm glad you're here because the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because my friends are your friends and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. With my friends, Nolan and Sydney and Lillian and Marley and Maggie and Daisy and Joshua and Alex and Avery and Anna and Caroline and Bella and Riley and Jasper and Kenny and Brooks and Gabby and Brantley and Avery and Sylvan and Eleanor and Wyatt and Ruth and Emily and Easton and Will and Buckley and Tinsley and Daniel and Jason and Connor and anybody else who's joining us today or anytime, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. I learned a new song. I'll start with that one. And it says the words, Hosanna, hallelujah. Then it says, he saved me, talking about how Jesus saved saves us. 
And then it says, I've got the joy of the Lord. But you sing it a little bit differently. But remember, we're singing Hosanna, Hallelujah, He saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Here it goes. Ho, 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 Hosanna, Hallelujah, He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, Hallelujah, He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. And Patrick pointed out this morning, it's like the song that never ends. And you can just keep singing it over and over again as much as your hearts desire. Ho, 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 Hosanna, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. We'll practice that more probably during um, the evenings this week. I like that one. I was looking up on the internet. I was like songs about Hosanna, like Palm Sunday kid songs. I found that one and I really liked that one. That's a good one. It makes me excited about getting back together at church one day. That'll be a fun song to sing as we gather in the music room. I look forward to doing that. One of the songs that we always, almost always sing uh, when we're together on Palm Sunday is out of the hymn book, and it's called Hosanna, Loud Hosanna. And a lot of times when we're walking in with those palm fronds, we're, that might be the song that they're singing. So I've got a hymn book, and I want to take a stab at singing it. So let's see how it goes. Hosanna, loud Hosanna, the little children say. Through pillar, court, and temple, the joyful anthem ring. To Jesus who had blessed them close, folded to his breast. The children sang their praises, the simplest and the best. Hosanna in the highest that ancient song we sing. For Christ is our Redeemer, the Lord of heaven our King. Over we ever praise Him with heart of life and voice. And in His blissful presence eternally rejoice. Hope that puts that song in your heart today, whether you're able to go in person to worship at 11 o'clock or whether you're staying home like we are for Palm Sunday. Felt like we needed to give that one a try. It's Palm Sunday after all. Then there's one more Palm Sunday song. That sings Hosanna, that when I was searching on the internet last night, I found, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. So here it goes. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing, ho sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Keep me serving till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. 
And of course, there's a lot of funny verses that people have made that go along with the song. And the one that I remember the best is, Give me gas in my Ford, keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me gas in my Ford, I pray. Give me gas in my Ford, keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me, keep me trucking till the break of day. And I'm pretty sure there's a verse that starts, Give me umption in my gumption. But I don't remember the rest. Do you remember the rest? If you remember the rest, or if you know other silly song verses to that song, please enjoy those together today or as you're singing and praising and thanking this week because that's a fun song but there's lots of sing hosannas sing hosanna sing hosanna sing hosanna to the king of kings sing hosanna sing hosanna sing hosanna to the king like i said I don't have palm branches, but I have those Hosanna songs ring in your heart this week. And I hope you enjoy those. And maybe you know a few more Hosanna songs than I do. And maybe you remember more verses than I do. So if so, I hope you really enjoy that this week. We'll sing some more of those at 630 uh, during the week this week, too. All right. So we're raising the story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey this week. We usually call that Palm Sunday. And if you're looking at the packet that you have from Miss Debbie, it's today starts at the very bottom right side of that with some questions you can talk about at home with your families. Then you have to turn the page. That's what the, it finishes on the top left of the next one. So let's read our story. Your packet looks like this. All right. Get this ready. Can you see it okay? There we go. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Passover is a Jewish celebration in remembrance of the story of when Moses was about to lead God's people out of Egypt. Um, the last plague was death of all the firstborns in Egypt, except God told Moses to tell his people to sit, stay inside their houses and take lamb's blood and paint lamb's blood around the doors of their houses. But God's people listened to what Moses told them to do and the spirit, the death that came passed over the houses that had the blood on the door. So Moses and all of his family and all of God's people and their families who listened to what God told Moses didn't die. Their firstborns didn't die. Death passed over them. And it's something that the Jewish people especially remember every year at this time. And Jesus grew up Jewish. And so that was something he did. So he and all the people were going to go back to Jerusalem for the Passover celebration to remember that. Sir sure said his disciples, Passover is a great holiday. Such good food and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill to the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes God's king. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, thousands of people, they started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. Then they pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. 
So they just were so happy to celebrate Jesus and call him the king that they said, Hosanna. And they wanted to make it very special for him to be riding into town. So they put their coats on the ground and they pulled the palm branches off to wave them and put them on the ground to make a special path for Jesus to walk on. I guess it's kind of like when you see like celebrities or famous people, they get a red carpet, like when they, people want to make a big deal about them coming into somewhere or walking into somewhere they often talk about or put down a red carpet. They didn't have that back then. That's not what they did, but they wanted something special. So they made a special path with their coats in the palm branches because Jesus was special. They were calling him king. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the, and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Asked another. The crowd answered, this is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, hush, Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, we can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. So this says you can make your own palm branch out of green paper and pretend you're in the parade and shout, Hosanna, praise God, which you can. But you know what? They grab palm branches around to wave and make a path for Jesus because it's just what was growing there. So today, I think if he were walking in on his donkey in Smithfield, we would be tearing off Bradford pear branches and um, dogwood flower branches and all kinds of stuff like that, because that's what's growing here. So <laughs> you can, you can think, use your imagination to think, what would I make a path out of? What's growing in my yard? What's growing on my street that I would use to make a path for Jesus? But it is really fun when we're at church together on Palm Sunday to have palm branches. So we'll, I bet we'll do that next year all together. There's some cool stories, cool stuff in here for you to remember Palm Sunday, some crafts. So if you are a littler kid, you've got a color page that looks like this with Jesus riding in on a donkey. And if you are a little bit bigger kid, you've got something that looks like this. It's a cross, uh, what is this? It's a word puzzle to find the words up here. Then there's extra stuff in the packet. There are papers that look like this on one side that has Jesus on the donkey and it says Hosanna and it's a color by number. And then, but on the back, there's four different activities that all have to do with the Palm Sunday story. So that one looks like fun too, so don't forget that. And, but wait, there's more. Miss Debbie put in one more for you, and it has two parts to it. One of them is a blank page that looks like this, and the other one is a sticker sheet that looks like this. And you take the stickers off of this page and put it on this page to create the scene of Jesus and the donkey and everybody there. So have fun with that one. A lot of good things that you can use today and this week to remember Hope you remember the story of Passover. And by all means, grown-ups who are watching, there's a whole lot more to this story than our Bible covers. So if you've got a kiddo who's curious or who's ready to hear more parts of the story, please grab your Bible and share it with them or look some stuff up online about the story to give them more of those interesting um, bits of information and context. Help them think about those bigger things if they're ready. Well, it's been a great day. Singing Hosanna made me really happy this morning. Palm branches or not, and I hope that those songs ring in your heart during the week today as well. Um, I guess I need to call my singers and see if they're going to be grumpy or not. It's time to sing. Who's singing with me? Anybody going to come sing? I don't know if they can actually hear me or if they wait to watch the delayed video. We'll see what happens. I really hope they come. Just got dead air on Facebook. This isn't good. Ah, I hear footsteps. Thundering footsteps. That's a good sign.
Is Joshua coming? Okay. You guys want to help me sing one of the new songs we learned? Yeah, uh, sure. Let's sing Ho, 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 Hosanna, okay? Ho, 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 Hosanna. Hallelujah. He, 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 save me. I got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Hallelujah. He, 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 save me. I got the joy of the Lord. One more time. Ho, 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 Zanna. Ho, 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 hallelujah. He, 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 we also remembered Passover, and that's a Hebrew celebration of the Israelites. Let's sing Shalom today to say goodbye. Ready? Shalom, good friend. Shalom, good friend. Shalom, shalom. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Shalom. Sunday, and I'll see you tomorrow night on Facebook at 6.30. Have a great week. Have a great week, too.